The next gentleman is singularly distinguished. Not only did he walk away with the award for the best performance by an actor last year for his fine work in A Double Life, but he also holds the distinction of being one of Hollywood's most illustrious citizens and, in the bargain, a neighbor of Jack Benny. <laughs> Mr. Ronald Coleman. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is very different for me from last year. This year, I know how I got to the stage. <laughs> last year, I heard my name, and the next thing I remember was having the award put in my hands. Complete unconsciousness between. It seems sad that I'm about to deliver as serious a shock to one of these ladies, but I've no doubt she will survive. Never in my memory of the Academy has the competition for an award been so tense and exciting. These were five great performances, and the Oscar which rewards the winner should shine with a special luster, and the other contestants find a real pride in the race they have run. The nominees are Ingrid Bergman in Joan of Arc, Sierra Pictures, Archeo Radio, Olivia de Havilland in The Snake Pit, 20th Century Fox, Irene Dunn, in I Remember Mama, RKO Radio, Barbara Stanwyck in Sorry Wrong Number, Halby Wallace Productions, Paramount, and Jane Wyman in Johnny Belinda, Warner Brothers. And the winner, Jane Wyman in Johnny Belinda. <laughs> accept this very gratefully for keeping my mouth shut once. I think I'll do it again. 